Stats game, Cash Flow 101. My name is Red E. Rat, and this here is Timid T. Turtle. We're here to give you a quick tour of the game and get you on your way towards financial freedom. If you're familiar with the board game version of Cash Flow, this will be old hat for you. The goal of Cash Flow 101 is to get out of the rat race and get onto the fast track. You do this by getting your passive income, uh, meaning income from investments, to be larger than your expenses. Once you can do that, you'll move on to the fast track and you'll be on your way. Now before we start playing, there are a few key parts of the game that we should point out. The first is your income statement. This includes both income and expense areas. These are places where you will track the money you make and the money you spend on a monthly basis. You started out as a web designer, so we've already filled this information in for you. Don't worry if it's not the job you would want. One of the important things about Cashflow 101 is no matter what your job is, it's financial literacy that really wins the game. That's right. Now the next area to go over is your balance sheet, which is below me. This is where you list your assets and liabilities. Assets are important because they put money in your pocket every month, while liabilities take money out of your pocket. The third area is the chat and message window. This is where you'll get critical information about the actions of other players. This is also where you can chat with your friends in multiplayer mode. Up above, we have a listing of the players in the game. You're listed first, and you can play with up to five players per game. And lastly, we have the rat race wheel. Everyone gets to start here for now. It mainly goes round and round. Wow, you landed on an opportunity square. Opportunities can allow you to do lots of things such as uh, buying stock or real estate. Hey look, you got a real estate property. Before we continue on, let's take a closer look at the card.
Well, this property looks like a good deal, so let's continue on. Well done. Now, you need to add the property to your financial statement and balance sheet.
Congratulations. You've just bought your first property. Let's roll again. Uh-oh, you got a doodad. Doodads are the extra things that people buy all the time. Let's pay cash for this one, and we'll move on. informational and tell you about certain events in the game, such as sales opportunities for real estate and businesses. Congratulations! You've just sold your first property. Now you're ready to play the game. I'm gonna get ready for it. Toodles!